because I don't remember exactly like exactly a point. I was like, I love football. Um, I was always like a sporty young kid. Uh, I played a little bit of rugby. I tested that out. Uh, I realized I wasn't very good at it. Um, but my earliest memory would be playing for my dad's team. Uh, he coached me as a young kid. Uh, I grew up in a place called Sumner, which is down in Christchurch, and we had a local team there. So we kind of just kicked around uh, in those mini goals, if we remember, like a lot of kids did that. My earliest idol I remember having uh, was Sergio Busquets. He plays at Barcelona, he still plays at Barcelona. Um, he's always been my idol. And then recently, that's, I'm not sure, you know, Frankie de Jong. Uh, I think he's going to be the new Sergio Busquets, so like he's kind of becoming my idol now. Um, yeah, so I've always wanted to be like him. I think my proudest moment would have been uh, starting against Honduras at the last under 20s. Uh, I was a young player at the time, and I think that was a very big opportunity for me. Darren Bazy, the coach at the time, put a lot of trust in me. Uh, the game obviously went very well, we won 3 1. I was able to get two assists, so coming off that game, I think I was like, wow, like. That was my, probably my proudest and favorite footballing experience. I wouldn't say it's music. I actually prefer to kind of like meditate and run th run scenes of the game through in my head before. Uh, that normally allows me to get focused and gives me a bit more confidence going into the game.